Good afternoon. My name is Colby Roundtree and I'm a talent acquisition sourcer here at Bright Horizons. Thank you for joining us today on our talent acquisition live stream event. Um, joining us today is Donna Smith, Center Director at our Bright Horizons at SAS in Cary, North Carolina. Hey, Donna. Hi, Colby. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for joining today. How are you doing? Doing well, thank you. Of course. And just to get started, if you don't mind, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself and your career in early education? Sure. Um, I went to college for um, child development and had some odd jobs um, here and there on breaks from school, summer break, and things like that. Um, shortly after college, I was relocating to the Bright Horizons or to the North Carolina area, and there was a position available with Bright Horizons. So I jumped on the opportunity, um, and that was back in the mid 90s. Um, and I have um, joined as a, as a classroom teacher and began. Um, and knew from early on that I wanted to grow with Bright Horizons um, and was very excited about all of the different opportunities and all of the different pathways. So um, I um, worked hard and quickly moved up and became um, a program coordinator um, and um, then moved into a director role. So I have been with Bright Horizons since the mid 90s um, took a short hiatus um, to work um, at a, a, a private um, child care center and um, that center um, I was working there for a few years before we um, became acquired by Bright Horizons. So um, I returned in um, 2020 um, and um, it's like I never left. So. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much about that. And that's a, a really cool journey. Obviously, you get back to being with, you know, back with Bright Horizons. Um, just getting kind of into the questions. Um, what do you love most about your role in early education? Um, I really love being able to uh, provide a safe environment for children to be able to lead others in being able to meet the health and safety and social emotional needs of early um, of young children. Um, early childhood is so important and I think often missed um, in understanding understanding um, who people are and and is a vital part of shaping people people <laughs> children into into you know, responsible humans. So um, without the social emotional pieces and, and being well adjusted, um, it really doesn't matter how hard we try to teach someone ABCs and one, two, threes. They can't learn it if they don't feel loved and supported and um, confident in themselves. So um, that is my passion. Yeah, no, that's an incredible answer. And I definitely agree the social emotional side is important, even once you get to the adult stages of life with work and stuff. So that, that's amazing that that's something that you love. Um, just moving forward. And then I guess it's more of a dive back into your career. But what inspired you to pursue a career in early education? I would say it's more of the same. Um, and I've, I've known from an early age that I wanted to do something with children to support children. Um, and in thinking about, um, do you want to, you know, work with an elementary aged child or um, middle school or high school? Um, I knew that those were not for, for me. Um, and the reason was my passion is the well-being of someone's social emotional health. Um, and that really starts at the beginning. Um, it starts in the infant program. And so um, it's part of what I love about being the director at an, at an infant toddler center is that those zero to three years are really, are really vital. And I love being able to impact that and, um, and be part of that. So that was my inspiration were those little ones. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Yeah. And Obviously, if you if you're not inspired to work with the the, the population you're dealing with, it it'd probably be really hard to be there for such a long career as you've had so far. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, next question I wanted to ask, just because you obviously said you grew within the company, um, just wanted to move forward and maybe have some advice you could give. But what advice would you give other Bright Horizons family members um, who are looking to grow within the company? 
Um, I would say that you really need to be the driver of your own career. Um, you'll hear a phrase at Bright Horizons often called steer your career. Um, and it's true. Um, while Bright Horizons has a fabulous network of support to be able to help people get to where they need to be, um, it, it's really up to the individual. If you, know, if you want something, look for opportunities to get it. Um, there, there are endless ones. I mean, it could be just classroom teacher and you want um, your classroom to be shown during a tour. Um, make your classroom tour ready and tell your supervisors, I'd love for you to bring potential families by my classroom. Um, and that it tells people, I, I, I can do this, I want this. Um, and look for those opportunities within the center, outside the center, to be a resource to other Bright Horizons. We're fortunate in this area, there are several um, Bright Horizons in close um, geographic area. And we offer lots of support to one another um, in that when other centers need help, we have opportunities to send staff over there. Um, and so, you know, get your name out there. Um, and wave your flags and let people know I'm here and I and I'm ready for growth and and um, and we'll give it to you. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I think that's an excellent answer. And especially, I, I don't think you're the only one that I've spoken with that's um, really talked about involvement. And there's a lot of resources with the company. And if you if you participate and really, like you said, reach out and find those different avenues, um, they're always good. Bright Horizon is always going to take that opportunity to push you forward. So uh, thank you for that. Um, yeah. Next question, just kind of curious, but um, especially around the center, but what practices do you use to maintain a program focused on child center environments? I think it's really um, keeping that, that passion um, forefront and remembering what drove me into this career and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, and it's really all about the children. I think um, adults, Generally, people tend to forget that children are people um, with thoughts, feelings, desires, actions, and they just don't know how to show it. Um, I, I like to say to folks, sometimes, you know, have you ever laid on the floor on your back for half an hour um, <laughs> in an infant classroom? What do you see? What is that like? And you can't speak and you can't move and um, and you get hungry, what do you do? Um, and so we we sort of, we talk about that here at our center too, and um, or a toddler teacher, get down on your knees and um, hold someone's hand and see if you can keep up with them as fast as they're walking down the hall. Um, and so really asking folks to put themselves in a child's shoes, um, to look at their environment as an important piece of, of um, the physical environment. Um, what does the classroom look like? Where are the toys? Um, are they put up? Because I'm a one-year-old who's just learning how to dump and fill, but my teacher is upset because I keep dumping. Um, you know, or are there opportunities for that child to dump and fill and for the teacher to say, wow, look at what you've done. Um, so we really just try to keep our, you know, our focus on the children as people and that, and that keeps that environment focused on the children yeah no I, again i definitely agree i think that obviously um if you're focusing primarily on the children and kind of making sure obviously like you said that they're people too you know obviously they have feelings emotions and drives i i think that's awesome because it's always going to have you um people at the center teachers and obviously yourself really passionate and caring um, about the children they're working with um but yeah last question just kind of um, I guess an encompassing question, but really curious about overall, because obviously with your growth in the company, um, how has Bright Horizon supported you in your career growth journey? Oh, gosh. Um, I don't think I could have done it without them. <laughs> um, I think Bright Horizons is so very passionate about, um, again, I'm going to use a phrase we use often, and that's building our bench. Um, and that is... Um, getting folks ready for that next step. And um, it's only gonna benefit the children, it's only gonna benefit the families, it's only gonna benefit the company as we have folks who have um, grown up within the center. Um, it, it, you know, I've had supervisors who have pushed me to do things before I thought I was ready, but who recognized that, um, that readiness in me and, and had the confidence and, um, 
said, you know, you can do this. And, um, and I just would have, I would trust and trust, um, trust them that they have my best interest. And, and that comes from transparency that comes from open communication. Um, all of the things that makes a supervisor the best, um, I've been fortunate to have all of the best ones, I think, um, <laughs> and folks to really help me grow and say, you're ready and you can do this. So, um, and when I say, to hold on, they say, okay, we'll slow down a little bit, but then, then you're going to get, then we're going to go. You know? <laughs> um, and so it's just been, I knew I could go anywhere and do anything I wanted to with Bright Horizons. Well, that's incredible. And yeah, it just speaks to the support that you get. Obviously, like you said, managers will see those opportunities and really push you forward. Um, or like if you need to slow down, they're going to pace it, but still obviously want to see you succeed. Um, yeah, I, I absolutely loved everything we talked about today. Um, was there anything additional you wanted to add before we wrap things up today, Donna? Um, I don't think so, Colby. I just think if anybody is thinking about um, making a career out of early childhood or even just having a good landing place until you get to the next place in your career, this this is the place to be. Um, and we'll take good care of you. <laughs> I totally agree with that. Well, thank you so much for stopping by today, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.